Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have discussed about PCS7 and its overview, and what is the role of PCS7 in industrial automation, and what is its capability levels. In this video, we will be discussing on brief about the topics that PCS7 includes. A short note on all the components that are existing in PCS7. So let's get right in. So as you remember, this is a typical architecture of PCS7 in a industrial control. So uh, we discussed about the scalability and approach of how uh, field devices will be communicated to control room through PCS7. So the major components which are used in PCS7 are first one is advanced process control. APC refers to advanced control strategies and techniques used to optimize and improve the performance of industrial processes. It involves implementing sophisticated control algorithms and models to achieve better process stability, efficiency and product quality. Advanced Process Library An advanced process library is a collect to pre-configured control modules, algorithms and templates specifically designed to support advanced process control applications. It provides a standardized and efficient way to implement advanced control strategies in industrial process. Industrial Library The Industrial Library is a collective software component, function blocks and templates designed to support various industrial automation tasks. It offers a wide range of pre-configured functionalities and modules that can be used in process control data acquisition, communication, and other automated related tasks. Schematic Batch Schematic Batch is a software solution provided by Siemens for managing and controlling batch processes in industries such as chemical, pharmaceutical, or food and processing. It allows users to define, monitor, and control the execution of batch operations, ensuring consistency and repeatable production. Process Historian A process historian is a specialized software application used to collect, store, and analyze historical data from industrial process. It captures real-time process data and provides a comprehensive record of process variables, alarms, events, and trends. Enables performance analysis, troubleshooting, and optimization. Schematic Batch Reporting Schematic batch reporting is reporting and analysis tool integrated in the schematic batch software. It allows user to generate detailed reports on performance data, analyzing on batch processes, providing insights in performance of process, quality and compliance. Planned device management. Planned device management refers to management and control of devices and instruments used in industrial plants. It involves tasks such as device configuration, calibration, and maintenance, and diagnostics to ensure reliability and efficient operation of plant equipment. PCS7 Power Control PCS7 Power Control is a component from CVL's PCS7 software platform. It's specifically designed to control and monitor power generation and distribution systems, including processes such as energy management load shedding or power quality management. PCS7 Telecontrol PCS7 Telecontrol is a module in PCS7 system that enables remote control and monitoring of distributed industrial processes. It provides capabilities to integrate and manage remote field devices and control systems over long distances, facilitating centralized control and supervision. Schematic Root Control Schematic Root Control is a software solution offered by Siemens for managing and optimizing the movements of materials and products within a production facility. It provides tools to define and control material flow routes, ensuring efficient and reliable logistics in manufacturing plants. Schematic Standardization Studio This standardization studio is a software tool provided by Siemens for standardizing and Harmonizing engineering process in industrial automations. It allows users to create and manage standardized libraries, templates, and guidelines, prompting consistency and efficiency in 
system configuration and deployments schematic management console or smmc the management console is a centralized software interface provided by siemens for configuring and administrating industrial automation systems it provides a unified platform for system configuration diagnostics and maintenance simplifying the management and operations of complex automation environment schematic pcs7 logic matrix logic matrix is a term that not directly related to pcs7 products or solutions it is possible that it refers to specific pcs modules or concepts in different automation system or software platforms so basically the logic matrix in the sense cause and effect diagram so a user interface is provided with a cause and effect diagram so which interlocks results to which operation or which operation is affected by the interlock can be seen through logical matrix of pcs7 open pcs7 refers to an openness and interoperational features of pcs7 system it allows for seamless integration with other automation systems devices and software application enabling flexibility and compatibility in industrial automation environment opc options in standardization communication protocol widely used in industrial automation for exchanging data between different devices and software applications the opc option refers to capabilities of pcs7 openes os to support opc connectivity allows to communicate with wide range of third party devices and software systems pcs7 os engineering pcs7 os engineering refers to engineering and configuration of process of pcs7 systems it involves tasks such as design of systems hardware configuration software programming and network setup to create a customized and optimized automation solution for a specific industrial plant pcs7 technological engineering refers to a discipline of designed optimized industrial processes and production systems this involves analyzing processing requirement creating control modules creating equipment modules and ephts selecting appropriate equipment and technologies and development efficient and reliable process configurations process safety in pcs7 encompasses measures and practices implementing to prevent mitigate risk associated with industrial process it involves identifying hazards implementing safety systems and maintaining operational integrity to protect personnel and the environment and assets from accidents or incidents and finally plant automation accelerator the plant automation accelerator in terms that it is not directly associated to siemens products however it is likely to refer the concept or methodology aimed to accelerate the implementation of deploying automation systems in industrial plants facilitating faster and more efficient program execution so this is not included in pcs7 but it is a separate software package offered by siemens to do bulk engineering in pcs7 and there you have it guys a brief component introduction of pcs7 and continuous empower industries worldwide helping these achieve optimal efficient and reliable operation of pcs7 if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on industrial automation thank you for watching we'll see you in next video goodbye